Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw the monster cat from Five Nights at Candy's. So let's get started with a quick sketch, and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. All right, so let's draw this monster cat, and to begin, we're gonna draw his eyes first. So we're just gonna draw two circles for his eye socket. All right, and then from there, we're gonna draw one more circle for the eyeball, and then just draw another one in there for the little, I guess it would be the pupil. Okay, and then this is gonna be dark, so I'll just shade it in. And actually, this whole eyeball is kind of dark, but I'm just gonna leave that for later when I color it in the computer. It's a mean looking character, okay? And then from there, we can draw his nose. We're gonna be really easy, just a little rounded off triangle. And then for his snout, just gonna curve it down a little bit off the two sides and then just kind of flatten it out, okay? And then from there, we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw his mouth. So right here, just kind of come up a little bit on both sides. And then now we're gonna come down. Just kind of taper it in. And then we're gonna round this off and gonna close it off. Okay, so it's, kind of, it's looking kind of funny right now, but we'll get there. Okay, so we're now gonna draw in the fangs. So maybe I'll just draw in three little one here, two big one on the bottom, and maybe just two, just two on the sides. And there's some teeth on the side, but it's kind of hard to get to because it's kind of so small. So let's just draw a couple. All right, and then from there, now we can move on to the finish off the face. So right on the eye, just kind of come up and draw the skull. Okay, and then from the skull, now it's. This part is kind of easier. I just go around the little corners of the mouth. And then here we just kind of follow that curve and just give him a little bit more chin on the bottom. Close that off. And then we're gonna give him a little bit of brow here, a little bit of socket. And then here he's got the stitches. So just draw a line and now you can just draw Okay, some of these stitching. Okay, and then right from here, now you can draw his ears, which will be really simple. Let's go up, come back down. We'll draw a little bit of creasing here. Okay, so now we can move on to the body, and I'm gonna draw his body a little bit smaller because or else I'm gonna run out of paper space. Just draw a curve like that for his collar. And now we're gonna extend it outwards. It's gonna be his shoulders. And then we're gonna come down. Okay. And then we're gonna pinch it in a little bit for his waist. And then for the bottom, we're just gonna keep going and then just kind of give it a little bit, a little triangular shape down here. All right, so, and then from here we can draw, well, let's draw in the stitches since it's so cool looking. So we just draw a line and then we just draw these lines across. Does look very menacing. Okay. And then here uh, for his neckline, just kind of draw like a couple of these lines like that. Looks like there's some tubing, right? Kind of connecting to the head. And then from there now we can draw his arms. So we're gonna start on this side and just give a little bit of space. And then we're just gonna draw like a little kind of rounded rectangle. And then down here, another one for his forearm. Okay, and then now, now that we've drawn that, now we can draw in the tubes, right? So we'll just draw a couple of lines in here for each tube, maybe some on the back too. Okay, and then to connect the elbows, it's gonna be just a little bit of a some kind of device in there. And then now we can draw his hands. So we're gonna come down here. Just kind of flare it out. You can actually close it. And now we're gonna draw the fingers. So we're gonna 
draw one right here. And then we're gonna go two, three, and four. Okay, and then now we're gonna draw in here just one because it's hooking backwards. And then to connect it again, we'll just draw some kind of these lines around it. Okay, so that's one arm. And I'll put in the little details later, right? Because it's got all these cool little um, spikes through it. So up here, same kind of thing. Let's round it off. And then for this one, give it a little bit more curve. And now for his hand, or hand, we'll just draw that. That's the palm. And then now for his thumb. Okay, and then now for his finger. So we're just gonna go out. I know there's a lot more details on the finger, but I'm just gonna keep it simple for now. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then again, just connect them, draw a little bit of lines. Okay, now we can move on to his leg. So it's kind of very similar to his arm. So give a little bit of space down here. Okay, and then we can actually, yeah, let's connect them right now. Okay. And then we're gonna come down here, just draw a little bit of gonna be his his knee and this is gonna go back a little bit so okay so that's why I made this curve like this because it's actually going backwards a little bit and then from there we can draw his um, his claws so we're gonna come down straight and then here just kind of come across like that I know it's a little bit tricky and then we're gonna draw this curve here that's his claw. And now we're gonna come back in. It was, looks kind of weird, but we're gonna go, let's do our, draw another one. And this time it's gonna be easier because all we can see is part of it. Okay, and then here, down. Now the claw, just hook it back up, okay? It's a little bit trickier at first, but once you draw one, it's a lot easier. And then now we're gonna draw this curve here. And curve it this way. Okay. Let's close it off. And then again, we gotta draw the knee a little bit. And this time, just a little bit of curve around it. And then now we're gonna go down straight. Oh, not straight, a little bit of curve. Okay, and then on this one, gonna be a little bit tighter so just draw a straight line smaller curve and then now we just gotta draw one big one for his claw so, so it's coming right at you so it's a little bit more compressed okay and then one more okay and then now we can draw let's see all those little um, little spikes on them or looks like nails through them right I'm not too familiar with this character but it looks really cool so one two three three right here these arms they all have three two, three and then this one this one's going across so we can see a little bit on this side And that's it for this monster cast from Five Nights at Candies. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.